Hey guys, Swifty here, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to enchant in Minecraft. It's uh, really simple to do. All you're going to need are these items here. So you're obviously going to need an enchantment table, which is four obsidian, two diamonds, and a book. And uh, that is how you craft it in the crafting table. And you're also going to need three lapis and then some iron if you want to make an anvil so that you can enchant books and enchant items like that which I'll show you more in depth which is a bit more advanced but it's um, pretty easy to do and then last but not least you need to set it up so bookshelves just need to surround the crafting table they can't be this close to it there has to be at least one block gap and uh, obviously the more you have the higher levels you can get but I like to have mine on 26 because uh, the enchantments on level 26 are better than 30 for some reason I'm not really too sure why so um, this is why I set it up and uh, it, well this is how I set it up and you can see like weird little words and number letter things flying into the enchantment table or well, into the book and um, that's just like the enchantments being brought in from the bookshelves so um, you're going to need uh, levels which are here I'm in creative but the numbers that are here are depending on what, what level you get so um, at the minute I'm on infinite but if I go into survival I'm on 14,000 because just for the point of the video I gave myself lots of XP so um, if you've got level 30 there then you can enchant an item with level 30 and um, yeah I'll show you what to do so first of all grab your lapis and then grab an item that you want to enchant we'll do a sword for this and then we will drop our sword in and obviously this says one two three and um, basically that means if I drop one lapis in I can use the first line which is like the level one if I drop two in I can use level two and level three I could drop in to get level three so um on here it's going to say sharpness level 3 and then dot 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 which means that you're going to get sharpness level 3 with something else maybe and then um, obviously like the lower down you go the worse they're going to get so the lower the number the worse the higher the number the better but I prefer 26 slash 28 uh, to 30 um, I don't really like using 30 that much because it it's like the highest and it's what everyone expects you to go for so they try not to make it that good and um, this is sort of a gamble so um, we've got our lapis in there we've got our sword we'll go sharpness level 3 and let's see what we get sharpness level 3 and knockback 2 and we've got plus 10.75 attack damage uh, a default diamond sword is uh, plus 7 attack damage so this has got 3.75 more so this is going to do quite a lot of damage and I think like a, a wooden sword does 3.75 damage or something like that so um, this does a lot more so um, the knockback 2 just which if you hit like an animal so if I go over to the sheep and I hit it it's gonna send it back push it back quite a lot so um, yeah and uh, I think with sheep chicken and maybe pigs it's basically a one-hit kill um, so it's really good to get and um, yeah I think it's just good fun to like prep out of sometimes and um, yeah it's pretty OP so um, I'm going to show you how to do armor now and then I'll move on to books which are like a uh, another way of, to, of enchanting but you sort of control what you get sort of um, not like a hundred percent but um, it is uh, it's, a, it's a good way to enchant because yeah you you're doing it more manually um, although you're doing this manually but it sort of picks out your enchantment with books you can sort of choose what you get and build your own armor up so you don't get a random enchantment so I'm going to show you how to do armor first and then I'll move on to the books so armor just drop it in same thing three lapis and fire protection three whoa click on that just fire protection three and um, fire protection three obviously it's going to protect you from fire more so fire protection four I think is the highest you can get if you jump into lava with all fire protection three or fire protection four diamond armor you could probably sit in there for like a minute and not die um, which is pretty good so yeah that's another way on um, uh, why it's good to enchant armor because you can just survive longer now I'm going to show you how to use books to enchant and I sort of prefer this way to enchanting I wouldn't um, really enchant without using books so because I'm in creative I don't need to drop the lapis in if you're in survival you still need to do this so I'm just going to enchant a bunch of books and um, let's see what I get so I'm just going to drop all these in Nope. I don't know, muck the rotation up, I'll keep on doing it wrong. So we're just going to get a bunch of random stuff and um, 
we will see what we get. I mean, obviously, you'll be looking at what you're getting. So, like, all Fire Aspect 1, all Bane of Arthropods 3. I could use that for a sword. Um, I'll leave that there. So, I can use all my sword stuff. And, oh, I'll put all my armor stuff over here. So, I know what I've got. Uh, but I'm just sort of doing this just quickly. Just so I can show you how to do it. So, um, there we go. 50 books. And now I'm going to get some, just some armor and this and maybe a sword and our enchanted stuff already because you can enchant stuff even more if they're already enchanted so we'll start off with the diamond chest plate so to make an anvil I should sort of point this out first you need your iron and uh, your blocks of iron it's 31 iron in total you need three blocks of iron on top and then iron just like that and that's how you get an anvil um, I'll drop these back off in the chest because we're not going to use them. So, yeah, you can uh, enchant items that aren't already enchanted. So, I'm breaking three. I could drop that on there, and it's going to cost me three levels of XP. Um, what else could I do? I could do. Uh, let's have a look. What else? I'm breaking three. I've already got that. So, that should do. I'm breaking. Oh, that just sticks to I'm breaking three. Um, fortune two. I've had fortune two on, so I've got I'm breaking three and fortune two. Turn that rain off. And um, so yeah, you can just keep on enchanting stuff, and um, you can keep them going up, and also you can name your items, so I'll call this like, OP Pick, and um, it will have the OP Pick name, and um, something that's already enchanted, so like a diamond chest plate, it's got fire protection 3, um, I could have unbreaking 3, I don't think you can get projectile protection 4 with it, um, because it's already got a protection on it, so if you've got protection 3, or fire protection 3, or whatever, you can't also have projectile protection 3, you've only got to have one so that will give us fire protection and unbreaking and um, what else is there, if I add unbreaking 3 it will stay unbreaking 3 uh, what else is there that I could have and that looks about it with that one diamond leggings, uh, protection 3, yep we can add that we could also add unbreaking 3 and uh, what else could we have, could we have this as well oh no that's for a sword and um, yeah that's pretty cool so now let's enchant our sword, sharpness level 3 knockback level 2 fire aspect 1 and uh, we don't get the bane of arthropods which just means that you kill spiders better I think um, but it's not adding it on because you are getting the fire aspect out of it um, and what else, smite 4 uh, because we've already got fire aspect you can't use smite power 3 I think that's for a bow oh no you can use it, you can use it for a sword I don't think it even does anything because, as you can see, plus 10.75 attack damage, plus 10.75 uh, attack damage, so it's sort of pointless. Um, sharpness, we've got sharpness 4 from sharpness 3, and I'm breaking 3, we can add that on. So we've got 4 enchantments on this one, we've got plus 12 attack damage, that is insane. And um, this would be incredible, and um, sharpness, five, uh, sharpness 4, knockback 2, fire aspect 1, I'm breaking 3. So sharpness 4. Uh, basically, it's going to make it more sharper, so you get more damage. Knockback 2, it's going to send them back further. Fire Aspect 1, it's going to set them on fire when you hit them. And Unbreaking 3, it's just going to stop them from unbreaking. Um, from it unbreaking, um, so it lasts a bit longer. Let's get a bunch of sheep, and um, I'll show you what this can do. And um, if you've got anything with uh, Fire Aspect on it, or um, anything with Smite, it's going to cook your food for you. So I could have a bunch of sheep. You kill them, it's going to give you cooked mutton, so you can eat all your mutton straight away. And if you have, say, pigs, you get all your pig stuff, um, all your pork cooked for you. So that's a pretty good thing. Like, I, when I'm in survival, I would just have... Oh, my God. One sec. Just so you can hear me better. So, yeah, when I'm in survival, I basically just use... Um, I have one particular sword with, like, sharpness four and smite three or whatever just so I can go about kill animals and get food so it's cooked already for me so that's really good to do so um, that's like a basic on enchanting on uh, how to enchant items so I hope you have enjoyed the episode if you have drop a like I'll see you guys next episode thank you for watching adios my friends there's a book in the way